It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to download an email from Gmail. So Gmail is a really popular email service that heaps of people use, and it's mostly based online, so you never really download any of the emails. It's all just online in your web browser, and you can add it to different programs if you want, but mostly it's online. But if you want to download an email from Gmail, there's a whole lot of different ways that you might be able to do that depending on what you wanted to download the email for and what you want to do with it. So the first reason you might want to download Gmail emails is if you want to access them offline. And if you want to access them offline, you don't actually need to download it out of Gmail. You can enable Gmail offline, which is a thing Timmy's talked about in a previous video. So you can click on the link in the description below if you want to view that one. So basically that will save the last 90 days of any email you've received in Gmail to your computer. And then if you're going on an airplane or something, you'll be able to open up Gmail on your computer with no internet and you can access all the well, 90 days of your emails and you can do whatever you want with them then. So that's really cool, but it is still within Gmail. So you're not saving it specifically to your computer. It's still sort of within Gmail, but the only difference is you can access it offline. So if you wanted to download an email just because you wanted it to be accessible offline, that's it's probably a good option for you. And the second option Timmy's going to talk about is downloading an EML file. So an EML file is kind of a file that sort of contains an entire email. So the file will contain any attachments in the email, the message body, the subject, who it was to, who it was from, the date it was, and all that kind of stuff. So you can, if you wanted to download an EML file, you can save that file to your computer and then you can share it with people or just keep it there as a bit of a backup if you want to save a really important email and then you can open it with any client that's on your email client that's on your computer like if you have outlook or something on your computer that you want to open up that email in an email file is going to be really good for that so that's another option that's a, a really good option and the next option to is going to talk about is saving the email as a pdf so this might be useful if you have an email newsletter or something that you want to save or even just an email with text in it and you want to save it so you can read it again or look at it look at it again and you can send it to people as well but you, you're not going to be saving the entire email that you have to open in an email client and so it's not as it's not as difficult as saving an EML file. It, it, there's a bit of a process to saving it as a PDF, but it can be quite convenient once you have it as a PDF. But one of the downsides is that you won't be able to see who it's to and who it's from and stuff. And you also won't have any attachments included. So if there is a picture or a different file attached to that email, you won't see it in the PDF. You'll have to open up that email to see it. So there's a few downsides, but if you want to just send it to people, and have it look the way it looks, it can be quite good to save it as a PDF. So that's another very good option. And the last option Timmy's is going to talk about is downloading an archive. So if you download an archive from Gmail, you can download a big long file of every email you've ever received as an archive. So it, that can be useful if you want to save it as a backup, maybe if you're not sure if your Gmail account's going to be closed or something, or perhaps if you want to move it to a different Gmail account, or you can put it into a, a different email program or on a different service like Outlook or Yahoo or something. So there's many different things you can do with the Gmail archive. It's not going to be so much if you want to save an email and share it with someone, but it can be quite good if you want it as sort of a backup of all your emails or you're trying to move it from place to place so that's really cool so now that you know all the different options of downloading an email Timmy's going to show you how you can do all of them so if you want to do gmail offline you'll just need to click in the click the link in the video description down below and you'll be able to you there's you'll see a separate video on how to do that but so Timmy's going to skip now to downloading the email file so if you want to download an email file from gmail it's really very easy to do so you just need to be on your computer here as you can see and then you'll just need to click on the email that you wanted to download this is the email Timmy's going to download and as you can see it's got an attachment and it's got text and it's got the subject and everything so it's a very good example email so Timmy's going to click on the three dots over here more and then you just need to come down and click on download message and it will once you click on that it will download the email file to your computer 
so now that that email is downloaded, you can just see it here, example email. And Timmy's on a Chromebook, so if you wanted to open the email on a Chromebook, you will need to install a email app from the Google Play Store like Gmail or any other Android email app. And then once you've done that, you can just click right click on it and click on open with and choose Gmail and then you'll be able to open and view the file in the Gmail app. So that's really cool. So as you can see, Timmy's opened it up and Timmy's got the example email here with the message body. And then there's the, you can see who it's to and from and stuff. So that's really cool. And then you can send it to anyone you want and anyone will be able to open it just like that. And if you're on a Windows computer or a Mac, you should have a email program that came on there or you can install your own if you prefer. So you can open it up in any email program you want. So Timmy's gonna show you how to do that now. So if you've got your file on a Windows computer and it's fairly similar on a Mac even, you you pro presumably have a email software already on there. So all you really need, need to do with the email file is double click on it and it should open up in whatever email software that you're using or whatever email software you set as your default. So as you can see here, it opened up mail because that's what Timmy has on Timmy's Windows computer. And we've got the attachment here. We've got the all the message body and we see that it's come from Timmy at techtimewithtimmy.com to techtimewithtimmy and the subject is example email and we see the date and everything. So it's really good and it has all the details in it and it's quite easy to open if you're on a Mac or Windows computer. So that's really cool and that's really all there is to downloading an email file. It's super quick and easy to do but opening it can be a bit more of a challenge but if you want that sort of convenience with it all being in the one file and you can send it to different people and it'll look the same on every device then it's a really cool option to do that so that's really cool and the next option to be talked about was saving it as a pdf so to save it as a pdf it's a little bit harder you'll have to be using the google chrome web browser so if you're not using that already you can just download it for free it's quite easy just search download google chrome or something like that and it's it's quite an easy process and then once you've installed that or if you're using that already you need to go to the chrome web store and install this extension so if you don't want to search for it or anything there'll be a link in the video description down below so you can just click on that and it will open up this page as long as you're in Google Chrome and then you just need to click on add to Chrome and it will add the extension to Chrome and click on add extension and it will not take very long it's always very quick and so then you just close that and your Gmail if you have Gmail open in a different tab it will reload after you've done this so you just have to wait for that to reload and now you'll see it says welcome to save emails as PDF but you can just close that entire box because Timmy's going to show you how to do it anyway. So once you've enabled that Chrome extension you'll just need to click on an email and so if you wanted to save the same email as a PDF this is a very good email for saving as a PDF because it doesn't have any attachments or anything what you want to be saving is how it looks like this and by the way this is the Tech Time with Timmy newsletter so you can go to techtimewithtimmy.com if you want to sign up to be notified by email every time Timmy releases a new video but so you, you'll see every the first time you click on the email after it installing this extension it'll tell you that you can click up here to save email so just click on got it and then anytime you want to see save the email as a PDF just click on the save to button and then you'll see here save to PDF so just click on save to PDF and the first time you'll have to authorize it and stuff so it'll say loading it might take a few seconds and because Timmy's never done this before, it's popping up asking Timmy to create an account. So you just need to click on create an account. And it's really quite quick and easy because it's linked to your Google account. So it'll pop up here with choose an account and you just choose your Google account. And then you need to allow it to manage your Gmail and stuff. So just click on allow and that's probably all you have to do. And once you've clicked allow, Gmail will then reload again. And now you should be able to save it as a PDF. So now if you click on the save to and save to PDF, it will come up with loading again. And then after a few seconds of seeing that window, it will then download your file as a PDF. So you can then open it if you want. And as you can see here, Timmy has the email as a PDF and it's got a few details about the email here. But then under that, it's showing a perfect look of what the email is. And you can even click on the links that are in it if you want and stuff. 
and you can it'll split it onto multiple pages if it's too big but as you can see that's really cool and it looks exactly the way the email did so you can send it to anyone and they won't have any trouble of opening an email file it's just very easily viewable or if you just want to view it or anything like that it's really cool to save it as a PDF so that's how that's done so the last option to be talked about before was the downloading it as an archive option so when you do that you down you you have to wait a little while for it to finish making your archive of all your emails if you've got a lot of emails but then it will send you a link to download the archive and you can click and download this big file with all your emails in the one file and it will download as an mbox file which you might think you can't really do anything with but most email programs like outlook or other email programs on your computer or any other services email services that you want to upload your emails to will support mbox files so if you wanted to know more about what you what specifically you're going to going to do with the mbox file just search how to add mbox file to apple mail or something like that and you should see plenty of videos or articles about how to do that so that's really cool but to download your archive you'll just need to go to myaccount.google.com and if you're not signed in to your google account already then you just need to sign in with your password quite quickly and then you just need to click to go down here where it says data and personalization and click on that and then you just need to scroll down a bit until you find download your data here under download delete or make a plan for your data so to me shown you in the past how you can export all a download of any files in your google drive and if you want to view that video there will be a link in the video description below but if you want to download all your emails you just need to click on deselect all because by default it's going to download all your files so any google drive files or any chrome history or any any files associated to your google account will be downloaded if you have it all selected so you want to make sure you deselect all and then just scroll down here until you find gmail as you can see here it is here and click on the check so that only gmail is selected and then just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on next step so as you can see here the delivery method is set on send download link via email so that's probably the best option it's quite an easy option so once the download is prepared for you you'll get an email with a link to download that file and you can just click on that file and you'll be able to download the file so that's really the best option and you're going to choose export once for this purpose and the file type will be best as a zip file and if you don't know how to open a zip file Timmy's made videos in the past about how to open a zip file on a Chromebook or on a Windows computer or an, on an Android phone or on Google Drive or if you use an Apple device you'll just have to search how to unzip a zip file on a Mac or something like that and there'll be heaps of videos to help you with that and by the way, any video Timmy's mentioned in this video will be linked in the video description below. So just scroll down there if you want to watch any of those videos. And then you need to choose the file size. So for this purpose, it's easier if it's all in the one file. So Timmy recommends clicking on a really big file size, like 50 gigabytes. The file won't actually be 50 gigabytes. It just means it won't be any bigger than 50 gigabytes. So you want to choose the biggest option, which is 50 gigabytes, because otherwise, if you choose two gigabytes and you've got three gigabytes, of emails it's going to split it into two files and that can be helpful if you're downloading a backup of all of your account but if you're downloading an archive of emails it's really a lot easier to have it all in one file so Timmy recommends choosing 50 gigabytes and then you just click on create export and it's saying it started the export process and this can actually take quite a while it can be minutes or hours or even days if you've got a whole lot of emails so to me won't make you sit through watching this for hours so to me did a made a backup archive yesterday and so as you can see when Timmy first requested the archive Timmy received this email that said archive of your google data requested for techtimewithtimmy at gmail.com and you don't need to do anything with that email you can just ignore it but then the next email you will receive when your download is ready will look like this and then you'll just need to click on download archive and you'll have to enter your google password to just for security and then you'll be able to download your files so Timmy will show you how to do that now so it's just signing into google and then we'll be able to download the files 
And then once you get to this page, the files should automatically start downloading to your computer. And Timmy's not gonna download them because Timmy's downloaded them already because it was a two gigabyte file and that would be that would take quite a while to download. So you don't wanna watch through that, but Timmy's downloaded that already. So as you can see, when it downloads, it will be named takeout and the date that you made it and it will be .zip. So you can just double click on that if you're on a Chromebook or any way that you open a zip file, depending on what device you're on. And then inside that zip file will be a folder called takeout. So just double click on that to go into that file. And then you'll see this archive underscore browser.html. You can just ignore that. That's just telling you about the archive. So you want to click on the folder that's mail. So double click on that. And then you'll see all mail, including spam and trash dot mbox. So that's the file that you want that contains all your emails in it. And that's the file you can do whatever you want with. Timmy won't get into the specifics of it in this video because that would make it a very long video if Timmy showed you all the possibilities of what you could do with an mbox. But you can just search for specific stuff based on what you want to do. There'll be plenty of stuff out there as articles or you know, as YouTube videos. So there's heaps of help depending on what service you want to upload it to or what email program you want to put it inside. So once you've got this file, you can do whatever you want with that file. So that's the last of all the different options you can download from Gmail. So no matter what you want to do with the downloaded Gmail files, there is a different option for everyone. And it's really convenient to be able to download your files from Gmail and you can put it somewhere else or share it with people. So that's really cool and that's really all there is to it. So if you found value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy releases a new video. So that's really cool. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.